Athe Pictorial takes you now to London's famous Savoy Theatre, where the play, The Assassin, full of threats, shootings, dark plots and sticky intrigue, thrills the audience every night, especially the gallery girls who've come to see the new heartthrob, Barry Moss. When the curtain comes down at the end of the scene, we're luckier than the theatre audience. We can peep round behind and see how the wheels go round whilst the lad who looks after the records puts on the incidental music to keep the patrons happy until the curtain goes up again. That minute or two calls for quick action backstage, but this latest thing in revolving stages helps a lot. The inventor, George Raymond, has given the Savoy something new in rapid scene changing without any of that muffled bumping and banging behind the curtain that makes audiences wonder what's going on. Sometimes, whilst the quick change is going on, an actor or actress will have a last check-up on some scene or other. They may have played it a hundred times, but the thought of a dry-up can still haunt them. The transformation is nearly complete, and the actors take their places ready to thicken the plot and curdle the audience's blood, while the stage carpenters whisk away an odd bit of scenery. At the switchboard, the men set the mechanism working and the stage revolves again while the Sparks man gathers up his cable before he gets in the works. The switch is thrown and up goes the curtain on the next scene. All the bustle and hurry we've just viewed has only taken a minute or two and the audience is much too intent on the play to whisper I wonder how on earth they do it in the time. 